What is up, everybody? Ninja Nick here with Tactical Gaming, bringing you guys another video. And this one is James Comer. The Biden family had 20 shell companies. Huh. And you can guarantee that the, those 20 all work with foreign entities that we have very, very little in common with. And that would probably be Russia, Ukraine, China, probably a few other countries as well that pretty much don't like us very much. Especially China. China is telling their youth to hate America and kill America. So, we're going to get into this. This is going to be quite interesting. To Sunday night America, when someone is arrested, indicted, tried, convicted, or sentenced, there are multiple layers of review. Prosecutors, defense attorneys, judges, juries, appellate courts... And you can review those decisions. Damn. But what happens when there is no arrest? There we go. No, charge, no prosecution. Who gets to review that? Right. Neither Hunter Biden nor Joe Biden has been charged with anything. It could be there is no evidentiary basis for charging. It could be there is some evidence, but not enough. <laughs> it could be there is plenty of evidence and someone has his thumb on the scale. Right. How will you know? If no one gets to review the evidence, which is why Congress wants to see what the FBI has. Yeah. Congress formed the FBI and DOJ. Congress funds those agencies. When you start something and you pay for something. I think it's time to hit restart. You should be able to see if that something is working as intended. We know a couple of things. A source deemed credible by the FBI relayed serious allegations against President Biden. Just because a person is credible does not mean the information is. Honest people can get exposed to unreliable information. But you should investigate to see. Yep. The FBI opened an investigation into President Trump based on a conversation in a bar. <laughs> if you're wondering, that's not great evidence. It's at least double hearsay. But he was investigated for years. Yep. What about President Biden? His entire presidency, he How was did investigated. Yeah, handle allegations against him. What about Rachel Rollins? Oh, God, this the bitch. Biden appointed U.S. attorney for Massachusetts. DOJ told DOJ she made a false statement. And yet nothing was done. Yeah. So, which. Because she was appointed by Biden. Get the attention of Biden's Justice Department. And which ones do not? Why exactly. The disparate treatment. Yep. Congress is entitled to review decisions not to charge. Congress cannot interfere with an investigation, but Congress can certainly ask what is taking so long and whether there is different treatment for different people. <sighs> House Oversight Chairman James Comer from the great state of Kentucky. Y'all should have arrested Christopher Ray. Like, that should have happened. I don't care. He he literally pushed the envelope. They should have made an example of that guy. Well, the reason we wanted this information is we had whistleblowers approach Senator Grassley about uh, their concern that there was this Form 1023 in existence and the FBI had never investigated it. Uh, so we requested the form. And honestly, Trey, the FBI tried to act like for weeks that the form didn't exist. And not until Senator Grassley and I got on the phone with Director Ray, and Senator Grassley told Director Ray that both uh, Senator Grassley and myself had already read the Form 1023 from a whistleblower, so we knew darn well it existed. Did he finally admit that it did exist? So once. Uh, we should tell you, the dude's going to lie. Me and Jamie Raskin, uh, my Why guy, not uh, indict uh, him and throw him in prison? Oversight committee to go in and look at it. I read it again, and I realized that there were two footnotes in there that referenced other 1023. <laughs> this is going to turn out, I think, a lot like the suspicious activity reports that the Treasury Cabinet had on the bikes. There are a lot more of these than what the federal government wants to admit. And the question yeah, is, I bet. why hasn't the federal been getting money. done anything about it? I mean, we've already... They've been getting out, money. Trey, and you know that the Biden family had 20 shell companies that the sole purpose, it appears, for those shell companies was... So, if you don't know what a shell company is, it, it's literally just a shell. It's to make, basically, make it look good. Damn, it's like super bright. 
it's supposed to make it look like it's a legitimate company, legitimate, like, you know, they're making money, but all they're doing is washing it and then redistributing it to someone else. That's the Biden family. And they've been doing it for China, Ukraine, Russia, and all their other friends who are giving them $10 million. Here's the big man right there who got all that money while he was working for Burisma. He made money. He wasn't qualified. He's an idiot. He refuses to pay child support. Anyone else in the country who owed as much in child support as this man would have been thrown in prison. Would have lost his license, everything, right? But no, because he's a Biden, he's untouchable. And here's the big man who made millions and millions of dollars. This dude made millions of dollars off of selling fucking paintings, and they still haven't found out who actually bought his paintings, which I bet it was like China and a few other shell corporations that they own. But yeah, kind of funny, huh? To launder money to six different banks, and the banks called it money laundering in the suspicious activity report. Oh, and nothing happened. And then transferred that money to nine different Biden family members. I mean, this is a serious crime. The Biden family is corrupted. corrupted. All, All need to be thrown in prison. In, a, in the world that's investigating it. Everyone who was a part of it, community. prison. And not the cushiony prison, prison either. Annual colleague, Jamie Raskin, he said the matter was investigated and closed. I want you to listen to this, and then I'll ask you oh, a question on the other I side. I bet it was term. investigated. That was checked out. This motherfucker. Um, by the U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Pennsylvania, Scott Brady, and... That um, assessment of this tip came back empty-handed. They said there's no grounds to escalate this from an initial assessment to a full-blown criminal investigation or a preliminary investigation. <laughs> they said there just wasn't enough there. Sure. Right. Now, A.G. Barr, um, who has a, a, a very complicated relationship with President Trump, says that's completely false. Uh, that that they, they didn't close it. Uh, what can you tell us? Uh, Raskin says it was looked at and closed. Was it? No. Jamie Raskin lied. And yeah. the FBI told us that it was still a part of an ongoing investigation. So what I believe has happened, Trey, is that according to Bill Barr, then Attorney General, they got the Form 1023, and because it was from one of the FBI's most credible highest paid, most trusted, most effective informants, they took it seriously, but they didn't look into it. They just passed it along to the U.S. attorney in Delaware. <laughs> so what, what Jamie Raskins is talking about isn't even the same thing. The Form 1023 pertains to... Which is to where, Biden why is he even allowed to be there? Passed along His word the cannot be trusted. Bill Barr to oh, the U.S. attorney God. in Delaware who was investigating Joe Biden. It also may be turned over to the special counsel. Remember, there's a special counsel investigating Joe Biden for mishandling classified documents. He just hasn't been in the news a lot. Yeah. According to the FBI and according to Bill Barr, Joe Biden is currently under investigation for bribery. And this gets lost in translation because the the media is so focused on, on Donald Trump. Look, here's what we know. Yeah, it's, it's a magic trick. They're like, hey, look what Trump's doing, not what Biden's doing. Uh, that, that we're laundering money from foreign nationals, including Romania, including <laughs> money being sent less than two weeks after Joe Biden Fucking Romania. Biden president, uh, delivering foreign aid and, and talking about foreign policy. This Forum 1023 alleges the exact same thing happened in Ukraine. And <gasps> the I think it's oh, my God. Is because this was dated, this last 1023, in June or July of 2020, three years before anybody knew about the shell companies and knew that the Bidens were laundering money through six different American banks. Wow. In 1023, the informant says that the payee alleges that he paid the bribe to the Bidens <laughs> and, and that no one would ever find it because the way they set it up, they... they it would take like years money through so many different banks. It would take 10 years for investigators to yep. find out. So he laid out the case for what we've already proven that the Bidens had all these shell companies huh. while he was vice president to be able to uh, uh, profit and, and then launder the money down to the Biden family. 
Chairman Jamie Comer, and you had to threaten to hold the FBI director in contempt of Congress just to get what he claimed right. didn't exist. Yep. Chairman, thank you for joining us on yep. a Sunday night. Thanks for having me, Trey. Hey, Sean. See? Crazy, huh? Right? But yet they want to sit there and go after Trump for having documents that he's legally allowed to have and everything else. But yet you literally have proof that Biden was doing one of the most illegal things in the entire country and yet has not been touched even well before he was president, after he was vice president, all of that. The fact of the matter is they're like, oh, well, we can't go after Biden yet. You can go after Hunter. And then that would be a good warning sign to Biden of, oh, guess what? You're fucking next. And this is exactly why the DOJ needs to be just stop giving them funding. They're not doing their job. And in my opinion, any attorney, period, who is choosing to not actually indict and go after people who are clearly breaking the law just because they have money or they're a certain name or a certain political party or whatever, whatever. if they're not going to do their job, they need to be removed and not have that job, period. Because their job as a district attorney is to put people in prison. That's their job. And if they're not going to do their job, case in point, if you're a retail worker and you're you, you go to work, but yet your your job is to, you know, scan stuff and you're standing there and standing there, not scanning anything, are you gonna remain at that job? No. Matter of fact, your boss is gonna look at you and go, Hey, why aren't you working? Oh, I don't have to. I'm just gonna uh, I, I just have to be here. Nope. They're going to fire you. So I think it's time to start treating these people the way they need to be treated. Because you can't hold a certain group of people to a standard and then let another group just go willy-nilly and do whatever the hell they want. It's not how it works, and that's going to cause mass amounts of issues in this country. So, like, share, subscribe, you know, check out the rest of my stuff on all my other platforms. Stay free, America. Love you guys.